So still on the admin LTE, if you scroll down, you will see under examples, you see that there are so many uh, different examples of pages. If you click on the login page, you see that they have an example of a functional login page. Now, what we're looking for is just this um, icon, this Facebook login um, button. So there are many ways to get it. You can just right click on it and then try to get the code. I, I right clicked and clicked on inspect element and it's showing me the code. So when I'm placing my mouse here, keep your eyes here till it shows you the exact code. I think this is the box I'm looking for, social login box. So I'll right click on it and click on edit as HTML. I'm basically trying to steal this code from this page directly since we know that uh, we're already using the rest. So I'll copy it, cut. So if I cut it, um, right click, cut. It should be gone from here. All right, so I've copied it. Now I have to go to my uh, login page, my code, login code on my app, and then uh, try to use it from there. So I go, this is my login blade page. Look at it, I'm on login. Login.blade page, okay? So we now have to look at several things. The first thing we will look at is, um. We're looking for the, the form. We're going to have to delete the rest of, look at the whole of the form. This form that does the login, we're going to have to delete it. The whole form. As you can see, it's gone. So we're going to try and paste what we have. Control V. I've pasted, look at what I pasted. So this is what we have. So I'm going to have to go and refresh this page to know whether what we did worked. Uh, reload just to see good so uh, what we did worked exactly so we're gonna change this to um, we're gonna remove these two guys uh, this guy should be gone and uh, this guy should be gone and we don't need Google login if you needed it you can use it but we don't need it it's gone too so we're, we're left with this and um, we're good to go so um the next thing we're basically looking at is uh, we want to remove the i forgot my password and register we don't need people to sign up or anything so these two links will be gone so what people basically see when they open the login page they will see um this uh, we can call it uh, voting Uh, voting platform, voting platform. So uh, we can do several things. One of which is um, p login the nominate our vote. I think uh, let's see how this goes. I think this does it. I will now put a class just to put it in the middle. Text center. So this is it. Voting platform. If you click on this, it just logs you in. Now we need to make it a link. So it's a link that is pointing to nowhere. So we have to add the link here. Uh, the link case. The link to the login page is login Facebook. Remember, I know because if you look at the routes. Look at web.php. Uh, this is the link to this is login Facebook. And you also want to notice here that the, the commands we run installed these two links for us. The, the generator, the Laravel generator installed these links. Now, if we look, if we compare it with what we already have, you see that it just made, it merely repeated what we had. Uh, we don't want anybody to sign up. Okay, we already have, um, we created this. We already have this. Our app already has it. So I'm going to delete this. Our app already has home. Let to delete it. So we're good. If we refresh, I've refreshed. It has refreshed now. And we're good. So if I click on login now, um, really. So like I told you in past videos, it's a common error when you're not, um, when you're still in your development environment. But once you host your app, 
uh, you shouldn't be seeing at that error. So just make sure you get back to your page, your, your localhost 8000 slash login. You'll get this page again. So you click sign in with Facebook, then you chill. And you're signed in. As you can see, it has created the basic template for us. The very basic template with no, no menu and uh, anything. So what we're going to do in the next video is to use this uh, Laravel generator to build all the other templates, all the other files we need. So it will automatically create the menus for us. All right. And that will be a very interesting thing. So this template comes with user profile. Look at what we have here. If I pan to the right, look at user profile. When I click on it, it drops down and shows member since February 2018. This is cool. And, but the thing is that it's still carrying the logo. We, we can change the logo and then profile picture and everything. So see you in the next video where we change the logo and, um, uh, and a number of things. All right. Thank you. See you.